What is up, heroes? This is Midnight Zero, and welcome to Hero vs. Zero Season 5. It has been a long two years since Hero vs. Zero Season 4, so thank you so much to those of you that have been patient waiting for this series, and to those of you who don't have any idea what this series is, please do stay tuned because this is easily one of my favorite series to do on the channel, and I know so many people have enjoyed it in the past. I do want to start by saying my good friend Nate has helped out with this season as well. He won the first three seasons of Hero vs. Zero, and so last season he helped create the challenges and was here for the episodes. Unfortunately, he's a bit busier than I am, so he's not here at the moment, but he will be stopping by and has been helping out behind the scenes. With that said, let's talk about what Hero vs. Zero is. It's a challenge series where every week for five weeks, I will be completing a challenge and then proposing that challenge to you guys. I will tell you what the game is, what the rules are, and show you my completion of the challenge. And then you'll have the opportunity to try to complete that challenge over the course of a week and send me your submissions. Typically the games are games that are very accessible. Um, it's very important to me that everybody can participate and they don't need to pay for the games in order to actually join the community and have fun with everyone. So the games tend to be from series that are immensely popular to the point that I would highly doubt anybody watching this video doesn't actually have a game from them, or they're completely free, um, or they're very easily emulated. So I do want to say that you can almost always participate in each of these challenges, and if you can't for whatever reason, please let me know and we'll see what we can do to help you out. So how does it actually work? Well, every week, every Sunday, Afternoon, I'll be posting a video where I demonstrate the challenge and I give the rules and I tell you how to submit the challenge and you'll have about a week uh, to complete that challenge. How long will you have? Well, since the moment my video goes up, you'll have up until the Saturday after that at noon. So it'll be from Sunday afternoon to Saturday at noon and that's PST, Pacific Standard Time. This is actually different from previous seasons where it was at Friday um, Friday night at midnight PST, but now we're given a little bit more of the weekend to work on these challenges So it'll be Saturday at noon PST that all submissions need to be submitted But why should I even submit? Well, you get internet points Yes, every single week based on the results of the submissions I'll be awarding points and be keeping track of them throughout the course of the season and then there will be in you know overall winner etc at the very end however the individual results of each challenge will also be posted at the beginning of the next week's challenge, so you have that to look forward to as well. How many points and how does that work? Well, basically, one thing I do want to stress that's very important is you get a point just for participating. Even if you don't complete the challenge, just for participating you get a point. And you'd be surprised at how important those participation points can even um, can play in the rankings come the end. However, you also get points for completing the challenge, and then on top of that, there's usually a Nate difficulty, which is one step, little extra spice of challenge uh, added to whatever I propose is the regular challenge, and completing that Nate difficulty will score you extra points, and then if multiple people score above the, the Nate challenge, basically I'll award points based on how well people do beyond that level. And at the end of the day, trying to make sure people are fairly rewarded for how relatively well they do for the challenge. And if you've played in previous seasons, um, you'll have a good idea of how that works. And if you haven't, I highly encourage looking at previous seasons just to get a good idea of how things work as well. There will be a link to all of my Hero vs. Zero seasons, uh, one big playlist in the description, so definitely check that out. So every week for each challenge there will be individual rule sets, but there are a couple things that are true for every single challenge. The first of which is don't cheat. I'm not going to know how to keep every single person who could cheat from cheating, uh, whether it's tool assisted or, or whatever it may be, but please this is just for fun, healthy competition amongst a uh, community on YouTube. Please don't cheat. Um, it, it just kind of ruins the fun for everyone. and. If you do know the challenge that's coming up, uh, a couple of the veterans might have a good idea of things that are happening in the future. 
Um, and I guess this is actually the first season where I've revealed one of the games for a challenge ahead of time. Uh, don't record in advance. I know that I don't reveal the challenges until, well, the YouTube episode comes out, but people may try to record things in advance. Just, just don't do it, please. The whole point is that everybody has the same amount of time to try to complete the challenge uh, during that week that the video is posted, so please don't ruin that. And then other stuff, I respect the deadline. Uh, Nate and I are busy people, and we'd appreciate it if you try to get your videos in on time. And you do so by uploading whatever video you take of you completing the challenge to YouTube and sending that link to us by Discord. Um, speaking of Discord, please join the Discord. It's an absolute necessity, a requirement for participating in Hero vs. Zero. If you don't have a Discord, um, just leave a comment below and I'll help you out with getting it. Uh, the link to the server is in the description below. And it's so helpful just for coordinating, planning, submitting videos talking about things, asking questions, and participating in large group-based challenges, which happen later on in the series. And I think that just about covers it. Oh, I guess I should clarify. Some of you may be wondering, but how do I record my submission, etc.? Honestly, anything works for, for higher quality, but if you don't have a really nice Elgato to, you know, game capture from your system, uh, you can use something like some free screen capture software from the internet, even if it has 5 million watermarks all over it. You can use your iPhone. Um, anything that gets the job done, if you're able to submit video and audio to me that I can see, it'll work. So please do try to submit however you can. And so with that, let's, uh, let's hop into the first challenge of Hero vs. Zero Season 5. Echo Challenge. This is called Echo Challenge because it's very similar to a previous season's challenge, but slightly different. Uh, basically, this is going to be a show me your best combo from a Smash Bros. game. So specifically, um, what Smash Bros. game, etc., what are the rules? Really, this is an opportunity to be creative. You can play any Smash Bros. game. Smash 64, Melee, Brawl, Project M, Smash 4, Wii U, 3DS, and Smash Ultimate. Please don't play Smash Flash. Um, you can play Project M or Project Plus, but no other fan mods or anything crazy. But you can play from any of those games. You can play on any stage, not just tournament legal stages. You can play as any character and just get a cool combo. Um, you can play against a real person which would actually be preferred. You can play against a computer. The computer can be any level. You can play with or without items. You can play in, I guess, different modes if you'd like. Just just get creative. We want to see interesting things. And um, I guess we want to see combos, right? So what actually defines a combo? It's difficult to rigidly define, but we have a few rules in place to make sure there are some commonalities. At the very least, there need to be three moves in succession, and those moves need to be linked pretty quickly. You can't take forever in between moves, even if, you know, you don't get damage or anything in between. Which is another requirement. You can't take any damage during the combo, and the combo must end with the enemy getting knocked out and losing a stock. Whether that's the last one, whether you also die or not, doesn't really matter. Um, if you have any questions about what a combo is, you can always record in advance and show us and we can let you know whether or not that combo qualifies. We'd be more than happy to ask, or answer that question. Um, also, plenty of examples are being shown on screen right now, so those could serve as a reference. Also, take a look at the previous season's combo challenge um, to see similar combos. But yeah, this is really an opportunity to just play your favorite Smash Bros game, try to get creative, try to come up with something cool and record it and submit it. I will say that both Nate and I are very well versed in the different Smash Bros games and understand their differences and that combos in one game may look very different from combos in another game and we want to reassure that there's no particular game that has an advantage in this challenge. So play whatever you would like. Feel free to play with each other even um, if you want to play me in <laughs> Smash Bros. Melee, for example, I'd be more than happy to uh, if you reach out on Discord. And I'm sure plenty of the other participants would enjoy playing um, with each with you or each other um, on Discord as well. So, yeah, that's uh, 
that's pretty much it. It's it's do a combo, right? And <laughs> do a combo well. Uh, so record that combo, upload it to YouTube the same way I mentioned earlier, and send me a link on Discord. The deadline is Saturday at noon Pacific Standard Time. And I think that's all there is to it. Oh, actually, please use the tag HBZ5 when playing Smash Bros, trying to get this combo, just to make sure this isn't a combo you've obtained prior to this video going up. If you can't show your tag or you are playing Smash and all of a sudden you remember that you don't have the tag on, something else you can do is immediately after you get the combo, up smash with whatever character. Um, if that was the end of the match, start a new match and immediately up smash. Um, but between trying to up smash right after the combo or using the tag HVZ5, uh, that lets me know that you got this combo during this week. So please do that. That is a requirement for the combo um, counting as a submission. And only one submission can be, I guess, judged at the end of the week. Uh, if you'd like to submit more than one combo, because I will be putting these into a combo video at the end um, that you can look forward to. Uh, feel free to do so, but again, only one combo can be submitted per person. So, if you'd like to get more opinions, feel free to show them on the Discord or whatever it may be. Uh, see which one you think is the hypest, but um, we can't tell you in advance uh, because that would not be fair. We'll tell you if something is a combo or not, but we won't give you any indication of how great of a combo it is. If you have any questions, uh, please do reach out on Discord. There are plenty of people that would be happy to answer those questions. And yeah, if you're having any trouble joining the Discord, leave a comment. I'd be more than happy to help with you there. Or reach out on Twitter. Um, that's also in the description. And I hope you guys are excited. I hope you guys that are new to the channel, maybe haven't tried this series before, at least give it a go. Um, see if you enjoy it. And to those of you who have participated, I look forward to seeing your submissions again. But until the next episode with the next challenge, this has been Midnight Zero, and this mission is complete.